Me the strength and wisdom, ye gods. Are you the silent druid? Oh, yeah. Dumb question. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Huh. Not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? Charming man. Hmm, doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me anywhere. Maybe he'll say something if I put out his fire. Grant me the strength and wisdom, ye gods. Grant me the strength and wisdom, ye gods. Tin pots. Stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. Grant me the strength and wisdom, ye gods. Well, well, Geralt's the ice giant killer. Grant me the strength and wisdom, ye gods. Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. <clears throat> Pardon? Hey. Hey. I take a close look at that shaman yacht. They say he poisons the yard. The very reason Google like so. All right, I'll take your word. Its nest. Known to have therapeutic uses. In shock therapy, for instance. Happy? I meant well, really. Well, it certainly didn't turn out well. Out of my sights, Rain! I haven't seen a Continental here in a long while. Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward, as promised. How about that? Beard down to his waist and a toddler's sense of humor. <laughs> Good luck to you.
Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle. Remist. An exceptional alchemist. But a stubborn mean ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceress is welcome apprentices, am I right? Not Gremist. So many formula in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Why is he averse to having an apprentice? How should I know? Perhaps because he's a stubborn mean ass. L O. It'll be a dry year. At least there's no signs of woodworm. Woodworm, maybe. Perhaps a bit me. Mushroom. It's appalling. No, no. Not his fault. Want to talk to you? But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. I plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight. Before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? <laughs> my apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well, there's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muscogan Forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fritjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Hmm. Pimpernel. Far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any Pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. If the rumors are true, a creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. The spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. This Fritjof, who is he? The Veda Maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Veda maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather. Stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. 
I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If you wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Once I begin, you must all enter your home, shut the wind. You, Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Richard? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant, sometimes even by my name, Geralt of Rivia. Ha! A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gremist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your soul. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Animal sacrifice? Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Svarm! Fatna Hanna! Ah, it's starting. not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have her to... Help him with his ritual. Till then. Pollen 
one on the leaves still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah, uh, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Gremis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerged drained with a blank stare and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Gremis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun is over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the eye. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. The bipeds. Flowers here as well, but they've been picked. Every last one. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no. Oh, stop. Please. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is great. No! No! Stop! Uh, please! Stop it! That tickles! <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature! Ramond, step away from her! Ah, calm down! I've not been harmed. I came here... You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away, make them go home. Only Ramond was nice, so I let him stay. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! 
I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy.
won't bother me anymore. I can look around peacefully now. Got lucky. Bit of mash left. Here's where the mash goes, probably. Done. Now to boil the mash. to be enough. Time to cool it down. Other. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the base from Mosh Gordon and spare from Hail Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only turds in the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Good. Let the lessons begin. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. A shutdown. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll be learning my secret method. Sure. Look, you take the potion like this, and gulp. Who said old age is a burden? <laughs> 